Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live and we're looking at the current conditions right now at Hector International while enjoying the view provided from Home of Economy in the Devil's Lake area. Take a look at these readings uh, out at Hector where we have a temperature of 79 degrees. We told you it'd be windy and we have gusts over 30 miles per hour. The dew point though still very dry. In fact, it's even drier than yesterday. Uh, the dew point temperature, the lower it gets, the drier the air is flat out, and that's pretty dry. Now, dry air cools off real fast, and it's going to be a chilly night. Take a look at readings across the area. 68 Roseau, but dead a little cooler than that at this hour. We are uh, warming into those 70s all the way from Bemidji up through Thief River Falls and Hallock. It's 70 in Langdon. And look at this, the 80s confined to the James River Valley in areas that are the driest, and we definitely have, well, comfortable conditions, we'll call it in Lakes Country. Dew points are in the 30s, folks. That's extremely dry air. We typically see that more in the fall season or even winter season. So the air is so dry, we're worried about temperatures tonight getting cooler than we've been in some time. Here's a look at the sky cover right now. We have a few clouds near Bedette Lake of the Woods, International Falls. Otherwise, the area is fairly clear tonight for viewing of the Perseid meteor shower. In fact, nationally, there's only a thin strip along a cold or really stationary front now that's working its way very slowly across the Ohio River Valley. There's some severe thunderstorms there. Your hour by hour forecast shows this evening the wind tapers off at sunset and it looks like a pretty quiet night tonight. Let's talk about how low we go after we head to bed tonight. We'll set things into motion. I'm going to pause this before daybreak. As we are just getting ready for that sun to rise, we'll see some blues on the map. That means a few areas may indeed sneak down to temperatures in the upper 30s. So if you're in this map and you're in an area here that's blue, uh, it's not going to freeze, but upper 30s is going to be crisp. Crack the windows open, give the air conditioning a break because we don't have to worry too much about the smoke yet either. As we go into the daybreak hours, 45 to 50 for most of us, sunny skies with a few passing clouds out west. Northwest winds do return, not as strong as today, 15 to 25 miles per hour, and afternoon temperatures will be warming. Well, back up to near 80 for many of our southeast North Dakota counties. We'll have mid-70s in Grand Forks, Devil's Lake as well. Now, in northern and central portions of Minnesota, the cool pool will kind of linger there, and temperatures will be in those mid to upper 60s for much of the afternoon for you. In Fargo, how about a 50-degree start to the day? And typically this time of the year, with the amount of sunshine we get, we see our temperatures go up about 20, but we'll better that with this dry air. It heats up pretty quickly. We're going to top out near 80 degrees once again tomorrow. That northwest wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour, and a cool evening with just a couple passing clouds. Your hometown forecast shows the best shot at 80. Once again, Fargo and Point South and West. That includes Jamestown once again. But the 4 o'clock snapshot shows will be cooler up near Lake of the Woods with some upper 60s for you. Look at that sun glowing, and this one with the lack of nasty smoke in the sky. A beautiful and colorful shot here. Nate, thanks for taking the time to upload. Now let's look at that planning forecast. It's dry. We talked about it right off the top of the program here, and we get hot again for the weekend with temperatures kissing 90 degrees from Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday, though, we have a cool front that's going to push through. We could have some pretty strong thunderstorms move through as we drop temperatures back to more seasonable by Wednesday and Thursday. So that next chance of rain that we all are interested in watching Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Man, that was weird seeing some 40s in there. For it like, it is weird. It's been a hot and dry yeah. summer for sure. All right, thanks, Hutch. You bet.